Hello there, my name is Patrick, and you have just entered the Gameverse. Today we're going to be taking a look at the ugly stepchild of the Destiny weapon types, the Fusion Rifle. The Fusion Rifles did something to one of Bungie's employees that much is obvious with its string of devastating nerfs it has received over the last year. Since its heyday when they were ridiculously powerful, the Fusion Rifle has, well, it sucked. Like, completely useless. They nerfed them into obscurity on their first try, but decided to just keep kicking them while they were down, with subsequent nerfs coming pretty much every sandbox update. The question that some fusion rifle loyalists may be wondering after the latest patch is are the fusion rifles back? Now I've seen a lot of people saying that they're now competitive, but, and I hate to start negative, I really don't think that they are. But they are in a much better place since the stability change in the April update. And they're a ton of fun to use in the regular Crucible. So I'm going to start with my pros and then give you what I feel are the cons for the Fusion Rifle. The Fusion Rifle weapon class are supposed to be effective at a short to medium range and they feel pretty good in those ranges. I was really drawn to the higher impact class of Fusion Rifles and I believe that they are undisputably the better class. The impact and range trade-off for a quicker charge rate is just way too punishing. I just don't see how it's worth it in any way. I used my Split Shifter Pro to test this archetype which even has range finder and I felt hard pressed to one shot someone even in the closer ranges. I found myself however able to outrange shotguns quite consistently if I wasn't caught off guard and had prepared for the engagement. The fusion rifle almost feels like the chess player's weapon, a weapon that you use your brain over your brawn. Because to effectively use the fusion rifle you need to be one step ahead of everyone. If you see an engagement happening or you flank the enemy team, you're going to be in a good spot to unleash carnage with your fusion rifle of choice. Getting one shot KOs with the fusion rifle has to be one of the most satisfying things in the game. And getting a spree with one makes you feel like you've just won the entire match because it does take a lot of skill to successfully use this weapon. The learning curve on a fusion rifle is quite steep but the skill cap is pretty high as well, allowing a player who has practiced with fusion rifles for a while to set himself far apart from someone who's just starting out. Now it's time for the cons. I don't know why this is always a problem for the fusion rifles but in my testing they are still plagued with inconsistencies. It's definitely better than before which was they were basically useless but still. It seems like you can shoot from the same range one time and it one hit KOs. The next time it might leave him with a sliver, another time he might just lose his shield, and yet another time this character might react to being hit by the shot but not even take any damage. Seriously, that was annoying. <laughs> What's up with that? As I've mentioned earlier, the trade off for using an archetype with a faster charge rate is just not worth it at all which basically constricts you to using only the higher impact archetypes, which is never a good thing. I don't want to be forced to use whatever archetype is good at the time. I want to be able to use whichever type of weapon complements my playstyle. In the shooter looter like Destiny, options and choice is king. It's also nearly impossible to react with a fusion rifle. If you get flanked or someone jumps up in front of you, it's incredibly hard to react to them and hit them with a fusion rifle. And to go along with this, if you miss your one shot, you will most likely die. Like 89% of the time, you die every time. Even though I said in the pros that if you're prepared you can consistently beat a shotgun, they will still wreck you. Oh yes, if you're gonna play fusion rifle, prepare to die to a lot of shotguns. Hey, here are some of my deaths to prepare you, or something. Well that was fun, wasn't it? Shotguns are still way more versatile, way easier to use, way easier to react with, and way, way more consistent. In a competitive environment like Trials, I really don't see any reason to use the fusion rifle over a good old Conspiracy Theory, Matador 64, or Party Crasher. Sorry fusion rifle users. 
But hey, that's just my opinion. If you think the fusion rifles are better than I'm saying, maybe even competitive, let me know down in the comments. I love chatting with you guys. And this is my first Destiny video, so if you have any feedback or suggestions on changes I can make to the format or what you want to see next, feel free to leave those thoughts in the comments as well. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see all you Guardians again very soon. Goodbye.